Well, in light of uh, the Cabby Lake CPUs coming out and pretty much underwhelming anyone who has followed Intel for a while and all the leaks, including myself, uh, let's forward to something people are actually hyped about in the CPU world, which is AMD Zen. AMD has revealed an army of Ryzen CPUs and AM4 motherboards at CES. This is just day one of CES, by the way. So there may be a few videos for me. I hope you don't mind. Now this article comes from PC World. So far, everything AMD has shown of its hotly anticipated Ryzen processor hints that they are the company's most anticipated new CPU in a long, long time. Chips poised to bring the fight back to Intel at the high end of computing. And thank God for that, because Intel has been dragging its feet. If you look at um, Cabby Lake right now, honestly, from someone who likes Intel, who has an Intel PC as his main rig, Cabby Lake was dreadfully underwhelming, in my personal opinion five cent jump at the most. Ooh, it can hope clock the five gigahertz Lottie da and gaming performance is damn near identical to the Guy Lake, so what are we all jerking off to here? No processor launches in a vacuum. Though at CES 2017, AMD has set the stage for Ryzen's Q1 2017 launch by revealing 16 high-end motherboards that use the new unified AM4 socket, CPU coolers built for those boards, and another 17 extreme performance pre-built PCs designed around Ryzen. The author of this article is scheduled to slap my cat in his face to meet with AMD about these new AM4 motherboards and system designs tomorrow morning. So stay tuned for an update with more pictures and hands-on impressions. For now, let's dig into what AMD has already unveiled. Both Ryzen and all of AMD's other APUs fit into the same motherboard socket, AM4, hallelujah. But those AM4 motherboards won't all use the same chipset. A more affordable APU system might pair with a motherboard that has a modest feature whereas to a Ryzen-based PC is likely to require more robust technologies. To that end, AMD is releasing the X300 and the X370 desktop chipset for Ryzen systems. You'll want an X300 motherboard in a tiny mini ITX machine and the X370 in a full-size PC. Both support all of the recent tech being baked into AM4, dual-channel DDR4 memory, NVMe, M.2 SSDs, USB 3.1, Gen 1, Gen 2, you name it. At CES, AMD will show the following Ryzen boards and APU focused B350 and A320 desktop motherboards from its partners ASRock X370 Tai Chi, RS, oh, sorry, ASRock X370 Gaming K4, ASRock AB350 Gaming K4, and ASRock 320M Pro 4, Asus 350MC, Biostar X370 GT7. Biostar X350 GT5 and Biostar X350 GT3. Gigabytes GA AX370 Gaming 5 and Gaming K5. Uh, Gigabytes GA AX370 Gaming 5. Gigabyte AB350 Gaming 3 and Gigabyte A320M HD3. MSI is in the party as well with the A320M Pro VD X370 X Power Gaming Titanium. That actually look nice. I'm not, an, I'm not an MSI fan at all for motherboards, but I do like their titanium series. Sorry. MSI 350 Tomahawk. As I assume, the MSI titanium is identical in looks to the recently released KB Lake uh, titanium. So far, the author of this article has managed to get his hands on the MSI AM4 motherboards while they're at Booth today and the X370 PowerX Gaming Titanium proves particularly noteworthy. It largely follows the design cues from MSI's high-end titanium enthusiast motherboards for the Intel Cabby Lake CPUs, like I said before. Uh, if you want more information on that, uh, say something, and I'll add a link to Wendell, who uh, does a pretty good overrun on that, C that motherboard, if you don't mind. And that's a good thing. AMD's FX processors have lagged behind Intel system in terms of features support for a while now, so it's refreshing to see the latest and greatest technologies on AMD's motherboards. I agree. How much longer is this? Damn, this might be too long for well, the way you're stretching it out, faggot. AM4 coolers. New motherboards do mean new CPU cooler brackets. AMD is working with 15 vendors on an array of third-party AM4 cooling solutions, but right now they're only naming a handful. So Noctua is in the game, which, uh, cat just broke something. 
Noctua is in the game if you actually like CPU coolers, or if you just like CPUs in general, you know Noctua. Most people swear by Noctua fans and only use Noctua fans. Uh, I have yet to try one simply because the only one that had the right color was like the Linus version. Then they did have a black version, but I haven't grabbed one, but I think it's like $30 a fan. So it's kind of like, uh, I could go with Noctua, but I could also get the Corsair magnetic fan that hovers and has that glowing feature because I'm a whore for lights. Noctua is highly regarded NHD15 and their thinner cousin, the NHU12S, will both become compatible with the AM4 motherboards. The EK water blocks beloved by enthusiasts who did custom hardline water cooling will release in AM4 products as well. If you prefer your liquid cooling at the dead simple closed loop variety, Corsair's H60 and H100i and H110i will also support AMD's new platform. Fuck. I have an H105 because I'm lazy. Of course, you can also expect to see AMD's own quiet Wraith coolers uh, make the jump to the AM4, especially considering that the AM4's publicly Ryzen demos featured it. Finally, AMD is teamed up with boutique PC builders from around the globe to show off Ryzen Dream PCs, as the company calls them. Uh, the lineup ranges you will find an assortment ranging from the practical system to the most exotic tricked out builds imaginable. Uh, the author of this has said he's looking forward to checking out some of these uh, firsthand in the morning. But in the meantime, there's a full list of partners who will be rebuilt, who've built Ryzen rigs. U.S. folks will recognize Origin, CyberPower, Main Gear, Cybertron, and iBuy Power. Yeah, CyberPower, no thank you. iBuy Power, mm. I don't know. Just personally, my experience with those PCs have been retarded. I mean, my experience as in, I know people have bought them and then they're like, my PC isn't working. I'm like, okay, let me go look at it. What, what the? It's an I buy power. Why would you buy this? Big cop. I needed a core PC. <laughs> you could have built it for less. I don't have time for that. Like, you can't do Lego, dude. Don't worry if you've noticed that the PC makers on this list are of the more specialized variety. AMD says it expects AM4 computers from all the top PC manufacturers when Ryzen launches sometimes later this quarter. And nope, AMD still hasn't said anything more specific about when that exactly is. Oh well, I could wait. Personally, I, uh, I'm i certainly looking forward to AMD's Ryzen. I hope it comes out very soon. Uh, Intel definitely needs to kick to the jaw and I think they're already feeling it because Cabby Lake has just come out and nobody's really buzzed about it. The only people buzzed about Cabby Lake are the big YouTubers who got their free fistful of Cabby Lakes and motherboards and they're trying to convince people it's great. Like, oh, you know, it's so amazing. <laughs> I mean, it's a little bit of a modular jump, you know, etc. But nobody's really got the balls to sit there and go, yeah, Cabby Lake, it's just Sky Lake slightly refreshed. I mean, what can I tell you? But then again, if I got free Cabby Lake stuff, I'd probably be like tooting the horn and banging the drum like, ah, oh, this is great. Ugh, five gigahertz. Woo. I mean, I am honest to God, I have a 4790K. I can overclock it to 4.8 gigahertz. No problem. I bet I could hit five if I really tried, but I just don't care, really. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I've wasted your time with my own personal thoughts. Please forgive me. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you for tuning into my channel. All that other jazz, you know where to find me. The links are everywhere. If you care, you'll click them. If you don't, it's cool too. I know, man. I know. I know how it is. I used to give a fuck. Now I couldn't give a fuck less. I can't expect you to give more of a fuck than me. Good day, sir. Adios, pichachos.